Have you guys started studying for Bio 20? Yeah. It's kind of challenging. I don't get this macromolecule stuff. Proteins, what? lipids, I guess. So I guess there's four classes. How are we supposed to memorize all the details of all of them? Should we go to the LRC to study? Um, I don't know. Do you think we should? Started what are you? From the bottom now. Hey, what are you listening Wait. to? Started from the bottom, now we hear. Oh my gosh, I thought Started of a great idea. We could rap a song to help us memorize our... That is brilliant! Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Let's all... Where are you guys going? We're making the rap! <laughs> Classes of macromolecules, don't be deceived. To make up the classes, this is what you need. Lipids, carbs, proteins, nucleic acids. You're going to learn today instead of sitting on your... So here's a story about something called lipids. It has three types. Can you believe it? We've got fats. Phospholipids and their steroids, if you're doubting me, son, pull out those androids. One sure thing is it don't mix well with H2O. Long-term energy storage is something you need to know. Not huge molecules, but carries two times energy as polysaccharides a.k.a. large lipid triglycerides. Not built in monomers, that's for real. Double bonds link carbon and carbon, that's their deal. Then there's things we call carbohydrates. Sadly to say, causing obesity in many states. All in all, they're basically sugars, not salty tasting like your burgers. Carbs being the main fuel to our bodies, making us run like new Bugattis. High fructose corn syrup found in most cereal, sodas, and cake. That's a mistake you don't want to make. Proteins are diverse with specific structures and functions involved in dynamic tasks of your body, but all about construction. Proteins are made up of amino acids. Eat too many beans and you'll end up with gases. These proteins will grow your hair long and healthy, and the deficiency of them keep up on you very stealthy. Koshiokor is a very dangerous disease, leaving you weak with many medical fees. Protein is found in fish, meat, and eggs, keeping your body strong, like your arms and legs. Something your body will crave for and gain, having so much to be thankful for. Protein. Nucleic acids, there are two we must say. Those are known as DNA and RNA. Protein synthesis involves both of these, while inherited from the organism's parent genes. DNA is made up of AGCT. There's a difference with the other that you have to see. RNA is composed of AGCU, so I pointed out the difference so you know it's true. CG in both cases are always a pair, for A goes to T in DNA and U in RNA. So one's not alone and it's fair. Sugar, carbon, and phosphate group in nitrogen is base. All three of those make the DNA and RNA base. Okay guys, you've listened to the rap. Now let's see what you learn. Number one, what are the classes of molecules?
Lipids, proteins, carbs, and nucleic acids. Amazing. <laughs> okay, number two. What are lipids? Hydrophilic or hydrophobic? Um, hydrophobic. Awesome. High five. <laughs> okay, number three. What are the three types of lipids? That was in your wrap, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so... You got this. Um, fats, phospholipids, and steroids. Yes. Good job. Okay, number four. What are carbs? Basically, carbs are sugars. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> okay, number five. What are the few things that are made from high fructose corn syrup? <laughs> That's a long one, guys. Cereal. What else? Soda. <coughs> and cake. Yeah. And it's a mistake you don't want to make. <laughs> <laughs> um, number six. What are some proteins? Meat for sure. Something for breakfast, maybe. Eggs and fish. Yeah. Okay, last one. What are the base pairs for DNA and RNA? What is the difference, too? Okay, for DNA, it's A and T and G and C. Mm -hmm. And then RNA, it's a and U and C and G. Yeah. And the difference is the U and the T. Correct. So I hope you know this. Yay! <laughs> we have learned so much now from this rap. You guys are going to ace the test. Yeah! <laughs> okay, today for lab, we're going to do an experiment with Cheerios. Can I see them? Um... Cheerios are carbs, right, guys? Yeah. Yes. And basically, we've modified these our food so much that we add iron, vitamin C, vitamin A, and like all these vitamins and um, nutrients. This cereal right here has seventy percent of what we need today. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Wow. Okay. In this cereal, we also have saturated fats and trans fats. Where are those from, guys? Lipids. Yeah. Woohoo! And. Guess how much protein this has? 2.5 grams. Actually, it's 5 grams. Oh my god. That's crazy. Wow. So, this cereal is actually good for you. So, in this experiment, we're going to see what happens with Cheerios and magnets. We're going to add water and Cheerios. Add the water, add the Cheerios, and let's see what happens with the magnets. Oh it's coming my closer! God. Why, Why do you guys think that? Though? That's so cool. Is it because of the iron in the cereal is attracted to the magnets? Exactly. 70%, right? Yeah. 70% of what we need today if you're eating 2,000 calories. Now, Phoebe, what does this have to do with macromolecules? Well, carbs are one of the macromolecules and also lipids, which has saturated and trans fats. Wow. What about the protein? How much protein does it have? Remember, five grams, guys, in this whole thing. Five grams of protein. Oh, my God. Wow. Well, that's the end of our lab. So, hope you guys do well on your test. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. So, here is information straight from the book. Macromolecules are more complex than they look. These are the components of the four macromolecules. Hopefully, now you feel less ridicule. <laughs> The useful information has been brought to you today, so retain this info and you'll be on your way. Fun. Yeah, that's good. Carbs be the main fuel to our bodies making us run like new bodies. <laughs> And then there's storage if you got it.
for it. <laughs> okay. Is it recording? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>